I am a freshman at Scholars Academy. I am Hunter, and I am also a freshman at Scholars Academy. I'm Ryan, and I'm a junior at Scholars Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Reagan, and I'm a freshman at Scholars Academy. I'm Aiden, and I'm a freshman at Scholars Academy. <laughs> I'm James, and I'm a freshman at Scholars. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's our challenge this weekend. Is that what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, a robot in one weekend. So half of our members, as you know, are brand new to FTC. Uh, and the other half have never dealt with this sort of rev uh, robotics before. So our challenge over the next 48-ish hours is to take these parts here and turn them into a functioning robot for uh, ro uh, Rover Ruckus. Today is all about brainstorming. Tomorrow is building and prototyping and programming. Sunday is iterative design process where we will test and rework it over and over on the field. How'd you make the programs? Well, if you look over here at this. All the stuff we made. So, like, this says that the robot will move forward at, um, at 0.75 power, and that lasts for a second, and then the, the robot will um, turn left. Well, good job. Keep up the good work. Drawing of our robot. 
room on the chassis. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another bar right here and we're going to add an attachment that will grab the gold and silver. Yeah, hopefully we're still working the silver part out a little bit, like fine tuning, but the gold, it's really easy to pick up the gold. And like it says here, that bar is going to be lower down than most of the other bars. So can I ask you what you're working on right now? So currently I had to remove this bar because engineering process and all that, and, and we decided to move it down here instead. Yeah. So I had to take off the wheel in order to do that and I'm putting it back on. Okay. And Alex is uh, helping me. Actually, that's a work first. Essentially, well, so essentially what we did is we took this um, color sensor and we attached it to the side to kind of mimic a color sensor to the side that would be pointing towards the unobtainium right here. <laughs> and essentially we have a program that drives forward until it senses a gold cube. And it does that by taking the ratio of the amount of red it senses over the ratio of the amount of blue that it senses and then comparing it to a fraction. And basically... We got it so that it had 100% accuracy, no false negatives, no positives, and that it was <laughs> three, in and that it could sense it 100% uh, of the time within three inches of it. This weekend, if we didn't allow ourselves to cut any extrusion, if we were to just, for example, cut off two inches right here, we're almost done, right? So it's a lot of things on this robot. What is the major thing you were concerned about and worried about in building this robot that you had to work on? the left because that was it went through a lot of changes like at one point it was like the opposite side of the screen that went everywhere and i wasn't even sure if it was going to work but it worked so yeah so successes i would point out these wheels actually were very helpful and although we only used two but we can think about setting a set of rollers um we may even think about having a bigger one uh, down here, so that as it may be, as we're lifting ourselves up at the end game, it might catch that lift. But if it catches a real first part, it'll roll down that lift. So if we had another set of just dead axle roll wheels up here, instead of catching on here as we saw at one point, if we had a dead axle large wheel right here or somewhere on there, then we might actually just roll it up that side of it. So 